Hey guys, what is going on? It's your buddy JR coming to you live recording via the YouTube app. So everything I'm saying is live. We're not going to edit it. You can use that function if you have a YouTube channel by simply going to your upload, which is located on the top right corner of your YouTube and click the uh, upload button and then record video. And that's what we're doing right now. So all this week I've been focusing on blind material. Uh, you know, things to ask blind people. And the next question comes up to, comes from rather Dave Nicholson. Dave's been watching the channel now for a few years. Dave is from Saskatchewan, which is a province here in Canada, actually just, just down the road a few hours that way. Dave asks, when they introduced the polymer bills, because uh, a few years ago, Canada introduced plastic bills versus your usual paper money, how did you know which bills are what without looking at them. I made a similar video about this all about money, but I made it from a visual point where I said I have enough vision to see the colors. So I know, you know, the $5 Canadian bill is blue, the $10 Canadian bill is a purplish white, and the $20 bill Canadian, yeah, the $20 bill is green, the uh, $50 bill is red, and the $100 bill I see it as a brownish white paper. But what if someone is trying to fool me, say if I'm, I have a job at Sobeys as a cashier or Tim Hortons, how will I know what money I'm getting? Well, when they introduced the new polymer bills here in Canada, they continued the legacy that is Braille. So if you didn't know this, our money here in Canada has Braille. And it doesn't have your typical, you know, number sign and then your number of how much the bill is. Instead, it has these things called full cells. Full cells are all the dots of the Braille pushed down at once, creating a cell with all six dots in it. With each bill, a cell is added to the corner of the bill. So what does that mean? Well, it means this, right? A $5 bill will have a single cell of six dots, a $10 bill will have two cells, a $20 bill will have three cells, and it just keeps going up from there. So really, all you gotta do is count the cells to have an idea of what uh, currency bill you're holding, how much is the amount on it. So, you know, like a 100, as an example, would have four cells, right? Because a five has one, a 10 has two, a 20 has three, and a 50, oh dear. You know, I haven't looked at a 50 in ages. I gotta, I gotta look at my stuff here. I don't really have any money on me. But once you get to know the uh, cell format, then you know how much money you're holding. If I remember correctly, for the 50, there is two cells, but they're spaced oddly apart. Now, uh, correct me for anybody else that is a Canadian viewer like me, correct me in the comments if I got that correct. I'm pretty sure I do but I haven't looked at a $50 bill in ages. All my stuff I do is, is digital. All the money I make from this channel, I don't actually ever cash it out or anything like that. All the money you donate to me over at uh, paypal.me forward slash be cool, be kind, uh, all that just goes automatically into my accounts and uh, you guys help me live. You guys feed me, you put dinner on my family's table, and when I'm not making money off YouTube, when I'm not accepting your donations, I make money from AMI Audio, which is Accessible Media Inc.'s audio channel here on, uh, here in Canada, rather. So, I, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of income. For me, a little bit goes a long way, and uh, I don't normally like talking about my finances uh, for the public to hear. But yeah, so whenever you donate to paypal.me forward slash be cool, be kind, you actually help me. All that money does not go through YouTube. It goes through me. Uh, if you're a Patreon uh, member, all that money goes through Patreon and then it gets to me with a 3.5% cut from Patreon. So I really dig the paypal.me slash be cool, be kind because the money you guys give me, donate to my channel if you find these videos helpful. All that money goes directly to me and it's just, it's awesome. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, let me know what you thought of the video quality here because I'm using my iPhone and I'm recording off YouTube's platform. So I can't wait to see how that turns out. I, I believe it always turns out good. Something tells me they film in um, 60 frames per second because it just, 
it feels uh, not as leggy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> not as leggy? JR, we can't see. Well, to me, it doesn't look as leggy. <laughs> but anyway, always remember to be cool, be kind, above all, be yourself. It is your buddy JR. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And let me know down in the comments what is uh, other questions you would like to ask about being visually impaired or being blind. You guys keep this series going, and we're going to keep going until uh, blind questions goes flat. Because I know that is what brings in the views for this channel, is all the blind questions I get to. Uh, my daily vlogs do not perform well. And I still upload daily vlogs once in a while because that's something I love doing. I love getting my DSLR. I love getting my GoPro and just going out and living life and then documenting it because then my kids can look back at it and be like, wow, our dad was cool at one point.